Hey guys, welcome to Complex Numbers Week 5 review. So these are the three questions that we're going to be looking at today. So as usual, I'd recommend you to pause here, try and work out these questions, and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, I'm going to go start with question one. So question one, yeah, one root of the equation is, for this equation is given as z is 2 minus 3i. Now the question is saying if p is a real number, find the value of p and the other roots of the equation. Now because one of the solutions for z is 2 minus 3i, what I could do is I know that if I substitute it into this equation here, uh, it should equal to 0 because it is a solution. So then what I have is I've got 2 minus 3i cubed because it's z cubed minus 3z which is minus 3 times 2 minus 3i plus p equals to 0. Okay. Now what I'm going to do guys is I'm actually going to put this entire thing in the graphics calculator and when I do that I actually get minus 52. All right, so I've got minus 52 plus p equals to 0, which means p is equal to 52. So now I found the value of p. Now it's asking me for the other roots of the equation. Now remember the conjugate root theorem. If one of the roots is a complex number, then the conjugate of it is going to be the other root. So what we can then say is root 1 is 2 minus 3i, which means root 2 is going to be 2 plus 3i and now we need to figure out what the third root is which in this case I'm just going to put it as k so if I was to write this as a um, an equation then what I could do is I could write it like this z cubed minus 3z plus p equals z minus the first root times z minus the second root times z minus the third root. So from here you can see that, now remember the constant is going to be that, that, that. Those three things are going to multiply to equal p. We've already figured out what p is. p, p is equal to 52. So if we were just to look at the constants here, so then we have negative 2 minus 3i multiplied by multiplied by negative 2 plus 3i multiplied by negative k. Now 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i is going to be uh, 4 minus 9i squared and that's multiplied by negative k so then 52 equals 4 minus 9 times negative 1 times negative k 52 equals what is this negative 9 and negative 1 is positive 9 so it's going to be 13 times negative k which when I rearrange k equals to negative 4 So from here, we can see that the three other roots are, our first root is going to be 2 minus 3i, our second root is going to be 2 plus 3i, and our third root is going to be negative 4. And that's how you do this question, folks. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, question two, um, solve this equation, z squared plus 6z plus 20 equals 0. Express the solutions in the form z equals a plus or minus square root of bi. So with this, guys, we're going to use the quadratic formula. All right, so we know that we can just write it like this. z is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, here we can say that a equals to 1, b equals to 6, and c is equal to 20. So then... The solutions are going to be negative 6 plus or minus b squared is 6 squared 
minus 4 times 1 and times c which is times 20 and that's divided by 2 so z is equal to negative 6 plus or minus you have 36 uh, minus 80 divided by 2 so carrying on we can write this as z equals negative 6 plus or minus square root of 44 negative 44 it's divided by 2 and then we can just keep carrying on we're going to get negative 6 plus or minus now 44 could be written negative 44 could be written as 44 i squared divided by 2 and 44 could be further simplified as 4i squared times 11 divided by 2. So when I um, square root the 4i squared, I get 2i, while the square root of 11 stays inside there. We've got 2 here, which means I end up with z equals to negative 6 divided by 2, plus or minus 2i divided by 2 square root of 11. Simplifying this, I'm going to get negative 3 plus or minus square root of 11 i. And that's how you do this question, guys. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, question three is very similar to question one. I mean, you can pretty much do the same kind of strategies that you did in question one. But I'm going to show you a slightly different strategy of how to actually solve this um, using another method. So. What are the things that we know? We know that the first solution is 2 minus 3i, right? Which means we can actually write um, the first part of this equation. It's going to be w minus 2 minus 3i um, multiplied. So you know this is a cubic, so you're going to have like three brackets. So this is your first bracket because 2 minus 3i is one of the solution. Now we also know w2, which is the conjugate of this, will also be a solution. So this gets multiplied by w minus 2 plus 3i. Now this is the second bracket. Now it gets multiplied by the third bracket. But for the third bracket, we don't know what the coefficient of w is. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that as k. We also don't know what the constant is, which we're going to put that as c. All right, that's the first thing. So the next step is you kind of need to simplify this one here. Okay, you need to actually work that out, what, what that is going to be. So when we do that, what we have is when we expand it out. So we got w times w, which is w squared. Uh, w times negative 2 plus 3i. So you're going to have negative 2 plus 3i times w and then the inside brackets here which is minus 2 whoa minus 2 minus 3i w and then you have negative times negative which is plus you have 2 plus 3i multiplied by 2 minus 3i now all this is still in the end going to get multiplied by kw plus c. So now we got to work out what the big bracket is. So we're going to get w squared minus 2w uh, negative 3iw negative 2 no negative 2w sorry negative 2w negative 2 times negative 3i is plus 3iw and then here, I'm going to get, expanding these brackets here, I'm going to get 4 minus 9i squared. And all that is still getting multiplied by kw plus c. So, simplifying the big bracket, we're going to have negative 3iw and positive 3iw disappears. So we are ending up with w squared minus 4w. 4 minus 9i squared is going to be 13. And that's multiplied by kw plus c. Okay. So 
what you can do is you can actually expand this bracket out if you want or you could be a little bit cheeky and just try and work this out so what I mean by cheeky is this we know that the coefficient of w cubed is 3 so kw times w squared that is what that's going to equal kw cubed right so when we multiply those two we get kw cubed but because we know the coefficient of w cubed here is talking about here is 3 we can actually write k is equal to 3 all right and the next little trick that you can do is looking at the constant the constant is minus 26 here c times 13 so 13 times c equals negative 26 which means c equals negative 2 all right so we figured this out now we still haven't done what a is all right but what I want you guys to notice is what is aw going to be now aw is when you do negative 4 times a constant negative 4 w times a constant is going to have a w and of course 13 times kw is also going to give you that constant just I mean not constant the coefficient for w's so what we then have is negative 4 w times c plus 13 times kw and that's equal to aw so we know that c is equal to negative 2 plus 13 times k we know that to be 3 equals aw so then what we have is 8w plus 39w equals aw 39 plus 8 is 47w equals aw therefore a equals to 47 so that's the um, a which is which is what we found out but the question is actually asking you for the three solutions so our first solution is 2 minus 3i our second solution is 2 plus 3i now for our third solution we're going to be looking at the kw plus c bracket kw plus c can be written as 3w minus 2 so if we were to have this as one of the brackets then we know the solution is going to be w equals to 2 over 3 so the third root is 2 over 3 so it's a bit more uh, long I wouldn't call it longer when longer way but maybe for some it is um, that's another way of doing this types of questions as well uh, very similar to question one all right guys that's it for this session and as usual if you have any questions pop it in the comments below and thank you for watching